So what up 2K fans, it's your boy Shake. Got another dribble tutorial for you guys that are still playing the demo, experimenting with the new dribble controls in 2K20. We're gonna be in 2KU, where all you have to do is hit the back button or the PlayStation touchpad, where you can then choose dribbling or full scrimmage and get some practice in. Keep in mind I'm going off the top, so if I make any mistakes, just correct me in the comment section. In the last tutorial, we were discussing the sham god and the running sham god. In this tutorial, we're gonna discuss the momentum dribble and different combos you can use once you master it. This momentum dribble clip comes courtesy of my buddy Prodigy. Hit him up on Twitter if you need some more help. All you have to do is tap the right stick towards your non-ball hand. Immediately hold right trigger and move the left stick towards your non-ball hand. So if the ball's in your left hand, immediately tap the right stick to the right and then immediately hold right trigger and tap the left stick in a right diagonal motion. So next up, the momentum spin. All you have to do is immediately after completing the momentum dribble, whip the right stick in a half circle towards your non-ball hand. So if you momentum from your left, you want to then whip the right stick in a half moon from right to left. Now the momentum behind the back is pretty tough. It's going to take some practice. In order to do this move, after you complete the momentum dribble, immediately hold right trigger, flick the right stick down and the left stick diagonally towards your non-ball hand. Once again, this is an advanced move, and I've had years of practice doing it. If you're new to dribbling in 2K20, this is a steep learning curve. Don't be afraid to put the work in to master the move. Or how about the Kyrie fake behind the back move, or as I like to call it, the Kyrie carry. Hold right trigger, flick the right stick down, and flick the left stick towards your ball hand. Now this is the behind the back escape. Different dribble styles have different animations. Hold right trigger, flick the right stick down, and immediately flick the left stick towards your non-ball hand diagonally. Because it's Steph Curry, it ends up being a behind the back sham guy. Here's how that move looks when Kyle Lowry does it. But if you was in a real game and you do any of these moves more than once, you're gonna fully deplete your stamina. Now I wanna give a shout out and the credit to 2K Intel because they was able to get this move out to the people before I could. Because now we're gonna practice doing this behind the back escape move back to back. Now every year in my ultimate dribbling tutorial, I give you guys a double behind the back move. But this double behind the back escape dribble might be one of the best moves in NBA 2K20. Just look at how deadly this move is when I use Norman Powell. Notice how Klay Thompson can barely keep up now this move won't break ankles, but it will stun your defender and give you a free lane to the basket. Now that's it for today's quick dribble tutorial. If you start practicing now, you'll be a beast by the time 2K20 drops. As always, let me know if this video helped in the comment section below. Smack that like button to show your support. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. We've seen a multitude of amazing plays all year long. From double ankle breakers to trick shots. From posterizers to snatch blocks, the whole series all possible by your submittals and your votes. These are your top plays from May to July.